player that you identified in shoot around is a guy that really has to get it going for the Cougars. Garza off the window that time. Six quick ones. Well, Bakari Evelyn is on the floor for the first time now for Iowa. The first grad transfer that Fred McCaffrey has brought into the program here. Getting more and more confidence and playing time. Wieskamp with it now. Luca Garza from the outside splashes that one home. Oral Roberts, the turnover in Iowa, a chance to make it a double-digit game as both Ryan Creener and Jordan Bohannon check in as Nunji and Frederick will have a seat. And uh, still doing both sports. Maybe some discussion someday, just do one sport, but right now he's having fun with his dad and his brother. Hard time guarding the ball, and if you can't guard the ball, it just breaks down everything defensively, Mike. Another pass here inside, it's Garza trying to get going, and he does with the basket and the foul. Basket, and he just forces himself right through the hands, pump fake, pump fake, and pow, top, and get a hand up and make them put it on the floor. Hendrickson touches the ball, but it still falls in the hands of Bohannon. Inside to Garza, spinning, and he gets the basket and going to the line. Jim, this worked because of the great post feed, kept his pivot foot. Get deep two these days. CJ has to fire this shot. When he's open, take it. Garza can hit him from deep, and he does! Garza finds Nunji in the lane. Catches the ball inside, and you have to know where the double's coming from. It's coming from the baseline. It's Long Island. Oh, it was so much fun to watch Jemiah Ramsey just go off. No one could guard him. What a special talent. Pass underneath. Garza in there to deny. Getting his first run of the evening. Bohannon on Pulliam. Garza for three. Garza hitting everything. He's coming in, Toussaint's coming in. Here's Garza on the offensive end. Not only do you have to worry about him down. Garza really pressing the issue, isn't he? Well, I, but I, I love the mindset behind Fran McCaffrey, what he's doing early. Until Teske and Brooks have been playing together because immediately when Teske caught it, Eli Brooks sprinted to that open corner. For that pass to get great the anticipation. Once you put it in his hand, now all Garza has to do is position himself, catch, and go right up. Still 0 for the night, 0 for 9 from the floor, and 0 for 8 from 3. Well, it's just been one of those nights. Oh, what a good look. How about CJ Frederick? Frederick? My goodness. Finally can score. One of the big reasons for that is the man with the basketball right now, and Garza turns around on Romick for the bucket. Well, that's the patented Luka Garza move right there. Toussaint goes cross court. And they feed Luca Garza, and it continues to keep working. He's got 10. Anytime Luca Garza has a defender on his back, really not even a, a duck in, it's just he's got position. The defender, if you're Hugo Obanik. Of course, played for the legendary Herb McGee at what was then Philadelphia Textile, became Philadelphia University. And off the alley oop, Garza nicely done. Really. Paying big dividends here in the first half. Wees can't. Well, runner doesn't go. Cars on the offensive board. Watch the pursuit of the basketball. And he reverse underneath the bucket to use the rim as a defender against a possible shot blocker. Garza will jump it into Craner, post to post. Big to big has been really good tonight for the Hawkeyes. Oh. Nope, and a foul by Marcel. Nope, Garza's in there to block it away. Into the hands of Wieskamp. Garza thought about it, now Evelyn with seven to shoot. Behind the back, Garza, rainbow. Oh, come on! They're not throwing the ball all over the court. They're getting clean possessions. As Garza tapped it away, comes away with a steal. Iowa's missed their last six shots. But that's, I, I love uh, keeping him honest in his own house. Wies can't for th uh, two, a long two, I should say. Garza cleans up the offensive foul. He's going to go to the line. In this scenario, we'll bring the ball down and try to gather themselves. He keeps it high, keeps it away from the defense, goes right back up. Nice putback by Luca Garza. 33 and 7. Johnson again comes in, pokes it away into the hands of Garza. Garza, couple of different moves. He's in double figures. Well, Miles Johnson looked a little dejected, but that happens to every big in the conference. The only matchup between ranked teams in the country tonight. Garza, three. 
right over the top of Johnson. Trying to back down Bashanishvili. Colburn came to help. Garza goes up and gets Iowa back on the board. First bucket for Garza. So watch as he's probing here. He's just looking and trying to find somebody. That's a heck of a catch from Garza. And then the presence of mind for the shot fake, knowing that the shot blocker Coburn's going to fall for it. Colburn has Pimsel around him. That one rolled off the rim. Colburn fighting for the offensive rebound. Gets it. Lost the ball underneath, now another scramble for it. Three players on the ground. Already five lead changes. It's been an enjoyable first half to watch here in Iowa City. Wieskamp cuts to the basket. He gets fouled, plus the basket off the feed from Garza. No double team. Garza just dunked under Bashanishvili, and he dunks to give Iowa the lead. Watch, when he faces up, he can shoot it, so Bishanis Feely has to crowd him, but it's a rip-go dunk. with Felice. To Garza for three. Manka, Garza can do it from all spaces of the court. Uh, feels quite comfortable at this level. Frederick had to adjust. Good defense by Nebraska, but then Garza there to pick up the pinball and put it in. To that dunk a moment ago. Well, the ball, pinball's around, but when you've got the biggest guy on the floor. He's got so much he has to know and do on the floor. Exactly right. Garza gets to the rim, and a two-hand flush prompts a Nebraska timeout. Leading the way for the Iowa Hawkeyes, trying to bounce back from a road loss on when Iowa State tax people, because I've been over here enough, I'll tell you that. Garza, contested three, doesn't matter. A rope got out there on him, and Garza put it in anyway. He's over the 20-point mark. Double, here he is from three. Well, Garza understands, Kevin, that the, the... Five points for Davis, 16-point lead. Garza points the three. Luca Garza is something else. Played 35-plus minutes, and you're launching a three from deep. You can't do that unless you put in the work. Saying poor Fran McCaffrey, Oturu banging inside with Kreener. Following it up, and then Garza swats it out of bounds. This is big boy basketball. It's the height and the size from. Garza going against Oturu again. Three defenders there, but Garza got it back, so he's starting off the second half like he did the first. Out inside, Garza and Oturu. This is what everybody came for. The kick out to Evelyn. Good find. Evil to knock it down to three. I don't know if there's something wrong with the system. Yeah. I mean, how sensational. Game in, game out. Here he is from downtown. He does it all. Struggled shooting the basketball or hot early. You said it though. Fool's gold sometimes. Guards of the fine. Craner the finish on the die. Just a fantastic cut by Ryan Craner. Wessons can't find the ears on a make and a rebound. And they'll go into Garza, off the spin, and he scores! What a motor! He may hear about that later, we'll see. Iowa's energy is just a different level now for Ohio State. They're just going right to him against Kithier. And he found his teammate Pencil with a foul. I tell you what, Penn State's doing an excellent job right now defending Garza. Oh, and Garza doing a pretty good job defending Stevens. 15 to shoot. Here's Garza running to the rim for the two-hand stop. Jeffrey harassed at half court by Dredd. Garza underneath and another 20-point game for Luca Garza. Here's Boutreau. Shot clock at five. Thompson knocked away by Garza. Evelyn. Garza, three ball. Got it. Good game. And because Boudreau has to kind of help out on that dribble drive, it allows Garza. That was not an easy shot because take a look at I me. Mean, he's coming up. That hand is up there and it's attacking the shooting pocket. That's far more difficult than it appeared in live action. For the double team, it didn't come. Put his shoulder in and spun away from pressure. Coburn right back to work against Kreener. Garza there to help pin it against the glass. 84% in that winning effort in Iowa City. Tip the cap to Kipper Nichols as Garza inside gets an easy two. He leaves in his first start of the year on senior night with six first half points.